to log into any networking router what we're going to want to do is open up the command prompt go down to your search bar type in CMD if you don't know how to open it and it'll pop up right here so CMD and at the top click on it and you'll get this black uh, page right here and inside of here what we're going to want to do is type in IP config and we'll get all of our routers IP information so what we're going to do is try to find our wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi so if you have two routers um, you might be able, you're, you might have to actually um, go in and check um, which routers which it'll say uh, wireless LAN adapter or wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi 1 and wireless uh, LAN adapter Wi-Fi 2 um, and so on and so on depending on how many routers you have but as you can see I just have the one connected so under this where it says of course uh, wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi we're going to see the default gateway so in our default gateway this is the actual address that we're gonna want so copy down this number and what we're going to do is type that simply straight into our browser. So once you type that into your browser, you'll get a page. You might not get logged in uh, immediately. What we're going to want to do after you get brought to a login page, what we're going to type in is there'll be two sections. So a username and a password section. The username is just going to be ADMIN for admin. And the password is just simply password. So type in that information and you'll get logged straight in unless your information was changed. If it was, contact your internet service provider and check with them to see why you're not getting logged in. But um, for first time users, you'll always get logged in with these two set as the default. And of course, you can change them as well once you get inside of your router. So. For now, we're just going to see our settings for our router. So I have AT&T, and you can see all of our settings through here. So that's how you log into any router. Um, this will work for any single router. Just remember how to um, get to this information, typing IP config, and remember that you need the default gateway under your wireless LAN adapter. So that's all I'm going to show you guys today, and that's all we um, needed to do in this video. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and check out the rest of my channel.